A structural grid is used as a layout and dimensioning tool for those creating the structural layout of a building. To create this grid in Revit, we need to be in a floor plan view. So in this case, we'll go to our 1-first floor view. And underneath the structure tab again on the ribbon, we're going to come over here to grid. So go ahead and select on grid. We need to draw in where our first structural grid is going to be located at. And this is going to be our first one. Move our mouse down to somewhere in this general area here on the screen and click once and then just move straight up. Somewhere in this area, go ahead and click. Now the exact length of these doesn't really matter so much. We can always make adjustments to them later. And I'll zoom in here just so that you can see that this is the first one that we've done. Now it is labeled number one, and because that one is labeled number one, it means if we stay in this command and then move our mouse down here to the bottom of the screen. Now if we move over until this says 25 feet, and for right now we'll just eyeball it and just get it so it says 25 feet, and then click, we can then move straight up and click, and we can see that that one's number two. And all the rest of them are going to continue this sequence. So we'll have a three, a four, a five, and a six. So we can zoom out, move back down to the bottom again. And now this time, instead of just sort of eyeballing it and getting that 25 feet like what we did last time, you can type in 25 for 25 feet, and then just hit enter on the keyboard. And now that'll automatically place that at a 25 foot spacing away from the last one that you did. Come straight up until it's lined up and repeat that process one more time. So 25 feet, enter, come straight up and click. 25 feet, come straight up and click. Now this next one, it's gonna be number six. This one's gonna be a little bit different from the rest. It's gonna be for two columns that we're gonna have in a future exercise. They're gonna be located right around here. So this one isn't gonna be at a 25 foot spacing. This one's just gonna be at eight foot, six inches. So in order to be able to accomplish that, all you have to do is come down to the bottom, just like you did before, and type in eight, the foot sign, and then the number six. It'll automatically assume that that's six inches because it's after a foot sign. Hit enter, move straight up until that's lined up with the rest of them as well. Now we can see that we have one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now the next one we need to do is gonna be the letter A, and that's gonna go from right to left. Now to do this, you can just click once, move over, but Revit likes to keep these in sequence. So you can see that this last one that we just did is number seven now. Now in order to be able to adjust that, it's fairly simple to do. All you have to do is hit escape on your keyboard a couple of times, select back on that grid, click on the number seven, and now change that to be an A. If you've done levels, then you'll know that you can do the same thing with your levels. Select on a level line, click on the name of the level, and then type in. It's the exact same process. Now, with the letter A here, we could continue the draw the way that we have been doing, but I'll point out that you can also use another command, the copy command, in order to be able to do this. So go ahead and select on the level, click on copy, move straight down, and when you see those temporary dimensions showing up there on the side, in this case it says 13 feet, go ahead and just type in 25 and it'll continue this 25 foot spacing. And you can see since the last one we did was A, this next one we're gonna do is gonna be B. Move straight down again, 25 feet. Do this one more time, you wanna have a grid line D, so 25 feet. Now if for some reason the command stopped when you just did the first one, remember it's probably because you had this multiple and it wasn't check marked. As long as you had multiple check marked, you should have been able to do multiple copies at the same time. Now you can go ahead and hit escape a couple of times to get totally out of the command. Now it's important to remember that structural grids in Revit are really easy to create and their job is to provide the framework for all the structural layout of our building.